This is Dhrida Gupta Gorik, a US born artist trained in traditional South Indian arts, bridges cultural boundaries in his creative expression. His devotion to reviving devotional art while staying rooted to the Vedic tradition is evident in his fusion of diverse Indian religious style. From managing the construction of the Parvati temple in Mayapur to conducting engaging workshops, Dhrida's passion for sharing knowledge is as vibrant as his art. So my name is Dhrida Gupta Gorik. I've been practicing art since I was about seven years old. I only came in contact with the traditional Indian art when I visited India for the first time, maybe 15, 20 years ago. And um, just seeing Indian art in temples and um, just like all the uh, different forms of traditional art really attracted me. So um, I kind of made up my mind that time itself that I would somehow find some, you know, school which I can learn traditional art from. Dhrada even mentors at Poona Pragna College and also hosts workshop to people all across the world. It isn't always easy to pursue art for a livelihood. Artists who sell copies of their art have a hard time making enough money. They face tough competition and challenging trends that make their art less valuable. So one of the biggest challenges I had as an artist, you know, um, after I did my studies, was to uh, be able to make a living out of the art. And I think a lot of artists struggle with this. Um, it took me quite some years to find a niche where I could feel that my art was generating a little bit of income and over the years um, I've become a little popular as a, you know a specialist in Hindu iconography and traditional arts um, and it took many years to build that confidence that I could do this as a full time so uh, other challenges I have is also like because the art I do is very technical uh, you know it, it consists of a lot of uh, proportions and measurements um, and it has, has to be very perfect um, in the way that it's laid out. So it's very time consuming. Uh, oftentimes people say my art is very, you know, uh, it, I'm very slow, but um, because every detail matters to me and every uh, perfection is very important for me and also for the art form that I practice. So. Um, I prefer to take my time with that and even if it takes longer, the outcome should be perfect. Art is a fundamental part of human existence. It serves as a powerful medium for expressing emotions, ideas and cultural values. Engaging with art, either as a creator or a spectator, can provide therapeutic outlet of emotions, enabling individuals to express themselves in ways that words often cannot. Yeah, I think for me, uh, the most important part of the art that I practice is the devotional aspect. So when I'm drawing or when I'm painting, especially when I'm doing gods or goddesses, that uh, spiritual connection is, is very uh, prevalent in my work. And, um, I, and I think that's the most important part for me to be able to connect to the divine through art. I spend a lot of time uh, researching my subjects uh, each of these gods and goddesses have some dhyana shlokas or like uh, mantras and verses that have um, uh, descriptive, you know, characteristics in them. So then you can understand what does that form look like. And after I will read those uh, verses, then I kind of like meditate on that form so that you uh, generate this kind of image in your mind. and. Um, how that form looks like, what the uh, like the attributes are, uh, what does their form mean, what are, what are they trying to convey, all these different aspects, and then from that mental image, I you know put it on whatever medium I'm planning to uh, draw in, and uh, while I'm doing the whole process, it's a very meditative process. Um, so it, in many cases, I actually like forget about time and space and. <laughs> 
where I am or what I'm doing, even forgetting about eating food, um, because it is very much like going into a trance. And um, with all this, the outcome is to have a form that um, portrays this div divinity. Um, and I feel like the conclusion of art, at least from, from me, is to have this connection between the viewer and the uh, art. That there is this, um, you know, uh, like either an emotional response or something spiritual that's happening in the viewer when they see the art. And, and that's what really, really attracted me to the Indian arts. And I try my best to, to get into that mindset and to try to create art which, um, you know, gives that same kind of mood and feeling. Want us to tell your story? Drop in a message and we will have it covered. You can check out our website www.ragaproductions.com or reach us out on Instagram or Facebook. Raga Productions, helping you create eternal memories. See you next week.